welcome back to DIY Yolandi. My name is Yolandi and I empower women by using power tools and educate women on how to update their spaces on a budget. So in today's video, I am very, very excited. So this is the third installment of Senza Ikaya. I can't believe that we are in season three now. And with season three, guys, uh, I will be focusing on my dining room. It is looking a bit drab, not a bit, not a bit drab. It is looking very drab. Um, so I am really looking forward to updating it. So if you are new here, then you must have missed out of season one and season two of Senzai Kaya. And season two has that very famous wall paneling where I made over my bedroom on a budget and season one of Sensei Kaya was my entryway makeover. So if you want to catch up on the previous seasons, click the link down in the description box below. So as I've mentioned, in season three of Sensei Kaya, we are focused in my dining room. I did a poll on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, child, you're missing out. And if you're not following me on my vlog channel, child, you are missing out. Uh, they are both linked down in the description box below. So I did a poll on my Instagram asking you guys if you would like for me to focus this makeover to be a renter friendly makeover or a homeowner makeover. So as you know that a renter friendly makeover is where you make over your space without doing any permanent uh, changes onto your wall or onto your fixtures in your space. Uh, unlike when you're doing a, a makeover, as you, as an owner of the property, you are able to drill in holes and build things, mount things onto the wall, etc. So um, the votes came in and you guys truly wanted me to do, to focus more on rate friendly tips for season three of Senzai Kaya. So that is what I'm going to do with my dining room makeover. So with this dining room makeover, the focus is really to update this entire space. So as you can see here, this is what the space was looking like. I'm really looking at working on the main wall of the room, uh, the dining table and add chairs and a bench. Uh, also, I want to change out the curtains. I also want to raise them um, up closer to the ceiling. I also want to change out the light fixture. So those are the, the videos you guys can expect um, for season three of Senzai Kaya with this dining room makeover. And as I mentioned, the focus is really going to be, I'm really going to be walking with you guys as I always do. But more than that, I'm actually going, it's really, I want it to be a renter friendly tips that I'm going to be sharing with this season. So if you are renting and you're looking at updating your space, on a budget you better stay tuned and you better subscribe and click that and click that and click that notification bell so that you do not miss any uploads that are coming your way the main wall of the room i actually wanted a bookshelf i had i had initially wanted to build a wall to wall book book bookshelf but then obviously when the votes came in and you guys wanted a renter friendly uh, alternative, I was in on a hunt for affordable but good quality shelves. And I found these at Click Furniture who are our sponsor for today's video. Thank you so much Click Furniture for sponsoring this video. Click Furniture is a Johannesburg based affordable furniture uh, store. They have a easy, easily to navigate uh, website and through their website you can see all the product offering. Their ordering process is easy and with immediate confirmation. Once you have placed your order, they offer different payment options to meet your budget. They've got four different payment options through their website. You can play, pay through EFT, through DIP, through instant payment, and through their pay just now option which allows for you to make payments in three installments and unlike the normal lay by system where you first have to make payment then you get your item sent to you 
with that, with their pay just now uh, payment option, as you make your first payment, your unit gets shipped right to your door. Their delivery is fast and efficient. I have had great experience with them. Uh, with this order that I made, I got my items within two days of ordering. Isn't that ridiculous? Um, with my TV unit that I uh, ordered, I, I got that within three days of ordering. So they are very efficient. Their units are easy to assemble from a beginner DIYer. It is very easy to assemble their unit, especially because it does come with an assembling manual, which gives you a detailed description on how to assemble uh, your unit. So if you're looking for affordable and reliable service, click the link down below to the Click Furniture website. Now, let's get into this easy assembling. So I have taken out all the pieces from the box and I've placed the boards numerically to assemble, placed them onto this plate so that it's easy for me to grab them as I assemble. you will need to assemble your click furniture piece will be shared on the assembling manual so this differs from each uh, unit so follow the guide that is on your assembling manual that you receive with your units I used a hammer and a drill if you do not have a drill you can definitely use a screwdriver when assembling click furniture pieces I only used two tools to assemble and that is the drill and hammer. And by following the easy assembling manual within 45 minutes, my multi bookshelf were a symbol. Always give yourself a job well done with a good celebratory dance. <laughs> The next day and to give my bookshelf some height i am adding these legs which i got from galma shelves and you'll see me uh, put on the legs for them today we are mounting them together so as you can see here you know they can separate and I don't want them to separate I want them to look like they are actually built onto the wall uh, but if you are planning on doing a DIY similar to this one and you actually do not want, want to be able to move your bookshelves around your house then you do not obviously have to do this. So what I'm going to do now, line them up together, then I'm going to clamp them down. After clamping them down, I am now, I'm then going to drill into the bookshelves. 
And yes, they are very lightweight. As you can see, I'm doing this by myself. So I'm using this mullet, I got it from Galma. Let's just tap everything into position. I'm using these mini screws to join the bookshelves together. So where they are hold, I am going to put on this white wood filler. I got it from Galma. Wood filler comes in different colors, guys. It comes in brown, in pine, in white, in black, mahogany. It comes in different colors. I'm using this one from Alkaline. Okay, so it is now a day later. Uh, the wood filler that I put on yesterday has dried. I'm going to put on this acrylic sealant, which I got in from Galma. And I am going to put it in the grooves of the bookshelves where the, my bookshelves are joining. Uh, because, uh, as I said yesterday, I do want a, a very nice, uh, neat finish. So I'm going to do that now and I also got this cork gun from Galma. So yeah, let us get into sealing and finish up this bookshelf. I'm now wiping down the bookshelf. I'm just wiping it with warm water and sunlight liquid. I 
I have sanded down the wood filler. I did this off camera. Can you see how seamless adding the acrylic sealant has done? I love it. And you know what? You will not believe this. This multi book bookcase that I ordered was 1,500 Rand each. For the quality, the durability of it and the efficient service, for me it was worth the purchase. And with the cost of wood being ridiculous lately, uh, it has actually saved me a couple of rands and time um, in me actually building the bookshelves myself. I love how this click furniture bookcases make my, my dining room look and feel right now. And yes, this is them here in the background. I am so excited. I'm looking forward to you guys seeing the rest of the dining room makeover. Let me decorate the bookshelves. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I just get hard. <laughs> so let me show you what this, let me just quickly remind you what the space looked like before. And after. I hope you guys uh, really do enjoy the season as it, and I hope you are as excited for it as I am. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss any uploads because so two is coming soon. When working with power tools, whether you're assembling a bookshelf or you're building something, remember that practice makes improvement and don't forget power tools have no gender. See you next time. Peace. Here are some bloopers. Along with you guys. Um, and instead of you waiting for your, and, and, in, and just. Uh, All talking points are made.